Hello there everyone and welcome back. I am Bogmod playing more The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky the Third. Yeah, we're back at it. It's, ooh, the desk. Oh, hey. That might be. This treasure was outsourced. No. Maybe uh, that is actually what we're going to need for getting um, that one door we've encountered already. Oh. No, I'm not going to fight it. I'm not going to fight it. I'll come back later and fight that. Of course, if I leave, then I'll just have to fight more of them on my way back in. Damn it! Take that. Oh, then I'm sure. And there's a treasure chest past it, isn't there? Double damn it! Ah well, I'm I'm all right with this. <laughs> a Joshua clone, eh? Oh no, a Gate. A grimoire imitating a cutter wields a heavy sword effortlessly, mowing down foes. Well, that's okay. Estelle wields a stick effortlessly, mowing down duplicate agates. Ah, yeah. mm -hmm. oh, so close. Mm -hmm. Actually, I guess I should fight it. I mean, everyone's got higher levels now. It'll be a it'll be a modicum easier. See, just like that. But let's get this chest first. Moon glasses plus. So what do you say? But we drew blue blanc. Ah, yes. Oh yeah, you're. Why have I given you two things that prevent mute? That's insane. Prevent death blows. Okay, moon glasses. Prevents poison and blind. Hmm, that's not bad, yeah. The necklace. Okay, okay. What else could I give you? Sleep and faint. Hmm. Petrify. Okay, oh, alright. Let's let's go with this. We're gonna go trick we're gonna go fight that guy again. Oh, because I guess I'll need to do this though. Alright, everyone's at full. Nope, no, nope, 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 nope. I wanna ambush you. Yes! This'll this will help. This will improve my mood. Actually, I have a few things I might be able to do here. Uh, Stampede, can I reduce your defense? Yes, good, good, excellent, first step. Then I go craft. Everyone's attack goes up. Yes, this is all going great. There we are. This will reduce your attack even. And then, the full power. Can we strike? No, let's hit you first. And then, you can do your attack. Alright, this, this should go better. I have a better feeling about this battle. Weakened, or tougher. It should go good. I have good feelings. And, after last time, I'm not as enraged about things as I was. There we go. See, that's going a whole lot better. Yes. Oh, this is amazing now. I'm not even I'm not even concerned about that damage. I've I I did it. I I did what I hoped to do. I made it easy. And three more levels for the group. 
plus all of that Sepeth. Mm, yes. Oh, a Pyrion. Um, okay. I don't know. It's a bad file load or gibberish or something. It's definitely something. All right, next stop. I need to, to get some some points, some smitey points. Hey. Yes, good, good, good. <laughs> Take that. That's a good. Told you I could handle this. Strega O's. If you see these chests from Erebonia, there's the strong silent type. Huh. Here we are, Strega! The original Stregas, revived in limited quantities. Cool. Gaia Greaves can be replaced with a soldier tabby. No, You're, you've got great defense already. Yeah, you need... There we go. Your, your defense is low. Well, then let's heal up. There we go. Let's, let's be brave. As long as I can ambush it, I can be brave. I think I think I'm gonna be okay for this fight. You attack. Morale boost for everybody. Bonus attack. Defense down for the enemy. Yes, good. Then you now rather than use it separately. We do Sanctus Nova like this. I like how you're just directly praying to the goddess here. See? That's good. All the goons are gone. Forgot about her healing move. <laughs> but I, yeah, I think we're still okay on this. As long as I can clear out the enemies and have everyone gang up with debuffs, we're all good. Aw, <laughs> oh, that, was, that was rather close. Eh, it won't matter. Next blow finishes the fight. Yay! We're good to go. And then two more levels, which provide healing. Kitty slippers. Kitty slippers. Ooh, series of rubber soles that resemble a kitten's paws. It's adorable. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, oh, I was. I didn't mean to get that close. What is that? <gasps> oh. Come on, I should have been able to see that earlier. That's cheating game. Pattern matter? Unbelievable. Uh, is that the thing that fought alongside that kid? 
It looks to me to be a large Arceus amused by Ouroboros. Your actions say there's more to it than that, however. You can say that, yeah. Let's go get that stone. I'm not sure I want to do that quite yet, actually, Estelle. <sighs> well, first of all, first of all, Second of all, now let's get it. I'm sure we're going to have to fight the robot, aren't I? Hmm. <laughs> I've this time. We finally found you. We must have spent a long while looking for the person inside. That shouldn't we keep... Ooh, we shouldn't keep you waiting any longer. Let's hurry to the garden and release them right away. Yeah, thanks, Reese. No? I was so sure! Huh. Well, okay then. I guess you are getting a murder child. The sociopath, murderous kid of death. Alright. Unleash the ceiling stone. Hmm. This is one of those things where... So in a lot of these games, right? Some characters will just get forgiven, no matter what they've done. And others will just be, no, 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 you're evil, and we're going to hold you against that forevermore. And it's usually the cute child ones who are forgiven of all their sins. Because, you know... They're cute and adorable and little girls, so of course, gotta let that slide. I can't believe it. It really is Renee. It looks like she's fast asleep. Papa, Mama, why? I mean, Wiseman, to went all crazy, he just gets to get murdered. That's his fate. And nobody will miss him. But oh, the child, of course not. Renee. Where am I? Sorry, far too many people to be doing voices for all here now. Oh, this is just a dream. Renee. Estelle? Joshua and Tita too? Tihi, what a nice dream this is. Renee! Close line! Oh. Oh, silly Estelle. You're supposed to be older than me. You shouldn't be acting like a clingy child. You are so warm, though, and you smell so nice. It's almost like this isn't a dream at a. Gasp! What's going on? Renee, this. What are you doing here? No, never mind that. What am I doing here? It's okay, Renee. I'm going to explain now, so try and stay calm, okay? You see, I'm not sure how it happened either, but don't get me closer! I mean, what trauma happened to Wiseman to make him change? Right? I mean, surely there's some sort of event that sent down his path to darkness? Sorry. I keep grabbing about that. Another step towards me. I will kill you! I'll try and handle this cell. Do you mind taking a step back? Okay. It's the, um... It's the, anyone can be your friend. But only if the PCs decide that you're worth being a friend. Then it doesn't matter how you fight it. They can, they'll slowly break down your evil and reveal the goodness deep inside. I'm happy to see you again, Renee. How have you been all this time? How's that any of your business? You're just as bad as Estella's, Joshua. Why don't you two leave me alone and stop following me around? I figured you must have noticed. You're right. The past few months we've been traveling around trying to find you. We're in Crossbell at the moment, too. Are we getting warmer? You're in Crossbell? Why? Why do you want to find me so much? Also, 
How are they having any chance of finding you? You have a flying robot that could avoid all detection. We just want the chance to talk with you. And from a reliable source, you haven't been back to a robot since we last fought. Is that true? What's that got to do with either of you? All I want is to be left alone. I don't want to talk to either of you. I don't even want to see you. you just leave me be. Because... Sorry, this one's on me. Ever since you flew off, I haven't been able to get you off my mind. Getting Joshua to look into where you might be, and we've been going around chasing down every possible lead. But that's why I'm finally happy to be able to see you again like this. Because screw what you want, this is about me. But, but... Oh, I get it now. You're lying, aren't you? Well, that's just a cover for the fact you're trying to capture me. What? So to disappoint you. But I only know about as much as Joshua does about Ouroboros. When you catch me, you're not going to get anything useful out of me. If I did know lots of dirty secrets, I wouldn't tell you. But you feel really stupid for wasting your time now. Wait a second, that's not... You're going to try your luck anyway. You sure brought a lot of familiar faces for backup. I mean, I might have trouble taking on this many people at once. But I'm confident I'll leave at least a few of you headless before I end up beaten. Ah, Renee? You've got to be kidding me. What are we supposed to do now, Shara? Mm, don't ask me. This doesn't look good. Well, I think I know who you are now. Well, Robinson Force number 15, the Angel of Slaughter, correct? You certainly do know me. I don't know you, though. You a knight of the church? Yes, I'm Reese Argent, Squire. I'm going to be familiar with your circumstances. Would hurt you to behave less like a self-centered child. Excuse me? Did you call me a self-centered child? I've heard your intelligence and deductive reasoning have a few peers. That's led you to joining Ouroboros, obtaining both the current rank and abilities you now have. So I'm wrong. I find it very hard to believe. You've already figured out this is a trap we've set to capture you. And you still expect us to waste our time and hear your little temper tantrum. So yes, I did call yourself such a child. Um, Riz? Damn, she cheers in his words. My, you're brave, aren't you, miss? Did I hear a lowly squire like you trying to provoke an enforcer like me? You must really want to have splatter all over the floor. I could say the same to you. No idea why everyone else here regards you favorably. I don't either, Reese. I'm with you on this one. But I, for one, have no interest in being friends with someone from Ouroboros. Hear that, Joshua? So if the battle you want, I will be more than happy to oblige. Oh no! Reese? Templar sword, huh? It's going to be a rude awakening in the right hands. Of course, everyone else who ever tried to challenge me with one ended up being quite predictable after a while. For long, they were begging me for mercy like pigs about to be slaughtered. It was ever so pitiful. Mm, I can't wait to hear you do the same. What? Renee? N no! Do you actually want to fight? Or do you only intend to stand around trying to sound threatening? I suppose that is enough talking. Yeah! Come on, you two! Both of you, stop it! <gasps> Tita? Hey! Wait a sec. One of the two of you so desperate to try and fight when you know you don't really want to. Renee, you're trying to make it sound like you don't care about a still Joshua, but deep down you're happy to see the men, and you know it. And Reese, you already realize that Renee's not actually a bad person. It doesn't matter that she's from Aurorus, and it doesn't matter if she's killed hundreds or even thousands of people. Mercilessly, leaving families broken and ruined. Well, when you put it like that, I'm happy? Of course I'm not. Why'd I possibly be? Why do you look so happy when Estelle hugged you? Until that moment you realized this was all real. You're acting like this was the best dream you've ever had. And now you're saying you don't want to talk to them? That you don't want to see them? Hold on a minute, Tita. That's not true at all. That's not true at all, so just admit it! Sniffle. 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 Sweetie. I swear. She just cut my life short about ten years. What the hell was she thinking? I'll look at you honestly. 
And I thought you were a year older than me, you know? Here you are, crying away. I'm setting a very good example. I can help it. What am I supposed to do when you guys finally see each other again and all you do is end up fighting? Sniffle. That's just too sad. Well, maybe she doesn't care about them as much as you think. Yeah, she could be happy, but she could have their emotions too. So, wow! Hey, <sighs> what are you crying for? Why did you have to? Hmm. <laughs> you know the answer to that already, Renee. It's because she likes you. She does. Hey, Renee, we still got our differences. Why don't we put all that aside and call a truce for now? A truce? As I'm sure you can tell, we're in the middle of a messy situation right now. However you got here, you ended up being dragged right into this with us. I'd right, say so it's all in our best interest to work together. So we get out of here anyway. What do you say? Mm. Mm, that's certainly true. There's plenty we don't know about our predicament. So with your intellect on our side, maybe we'll help us fill in the remaining blanks. In fact, I would greatly welcome your assistance. Yeah, I'm with the colonel. <sighs> I'm not a colonel, Estelle. Regardless, I think it would be in your best interest to work with us too. Carpeting will allow you to gather information more efficiently, as well as make it easier for you to ensure your own safety. Mm. That's true. It's obviously that wherever we are, it's somewhere abnormal. So it goes with the saying that having me around would be a big help to all of you. All right, out of respect for Tita's bravery, I'll spare you all this time. Fit me in on exactly what's going on here. Hee <gasps> hee! <gasps> Thanks, Renee. Just so we're clear, I've decided whether I'm going to work with you or not yet. I promise you to listen to your explanation of what's happening, then I'll decide if I help. <laughs> that is... Yeah... A lot, like, a lot of this game has done really good in the character development and stuff, but some of them, I'm sorry, I'm just... Not seeing it for Renee, I guess? It's just, I mean, this is a personal take. Um, but yeah, she conned you all. She coldly calculated... I mean, yes, she's a child. But she knows, like she is, she isn't mind controlled. She's intelligent enough to understand the the impact of her actions. She chooses to do them anyways. Um, yes, maybe she has psychological trauma. Maybe she had a very tough childhood. But you can't play her up as this brilliant genius and this amazing person. At the same time, oh, forgive all the things that she did, as if she wasn't responsible. Um, you, you can't get it both ways. I mean, with Joshua, we can forgive it at least, because he was broken. And we see that a whole lot more. Um, like, literally, he was mind-controlled broken. His, his soul was carved up, effectively, from what we could tell. So it's a little different for him. Oh, well. Ah. <sighs> That's my own little rant. Let's see. I see, I think I've got a pretty good idea what's going on now. Whoever chose this place's name couldn't have picked a better one, couldn't they? What? Have you figured something out that we hadn't? Possibly. I'm still not completely certain yet. I'm really confident in my theory after hearing the Colonel's story, though. Me? Mm-hmm. My experience was the same as everyone else's. Ending up here after being surrounded by a sudden white light. You say you weren't wearing a uniform when it happened to you, right, Colonel? How many times must I? Well, whatever. I wasn't. As I explained to everyone when I f arrived, I was wearing a shirt and slacks, as I do every other day at work. Right, just checking. So, then tell me something. Say, you have quite a strong emotional attachment to that uniform? Pardon? Oh, that's a definite yes. It's a symbol of your past, the past you couldn't just move on from, even though you need to. Am I right? Yes, you are. Richard. I'm no, no surprise you feel the way from my perspective. And lo and behold, the moment you appeared in this world, you are wearing that very same uniform again. 
if you, whatever do you think that could mean? That would mean when I arrived here, my attachment to the past and being manifested as reality. In other words, this world is capable of changing based on people's thoughts. Oh. Ah, now it makes sense. Not to me, it doesn't. Can you explain in slightly less complicated terms for the rest of us? It's actually a really simple thing. And Luciola used the gospel to make you experience a dream, right? Right. Mm, the dreams we saw were different depending on what we wanted to see, too. Of course, and like that, this isn't a dream, but the concept is basically the same. Just like in Luciola's dream worlds, this world changes depending on what the people inside it want. It wants to recreate places that exist in their memories, too. It all falls into place nicely once you simplify it, doesn't it? Duh, so it does. It explains the money must have encountered and how the doors work, too? Still, well, that explanation may explain the concept of this world. And this would desire the predicament we found ourselves in. Oh, I don't disagree. We're not the only ones here, though, are we? Oh. So, in other words, many of the content of the world exists because of us, but its overall structure is the result of someone else within it. Hmm, if I can gather, yes. What exactly is making all this possible is the part I'm still puzzling over. If he wishes reality was the purpose of the aureole, but now that's been lost, I can't think of anything else capable of doing the same. I think it's easy for us to point the finger at who wished for this world to behave the way it does, at least, at the very least. The Lord of Phantasma. Exactly. Basically, that's been said, uh, they were in this world originally. It's just the ghost you've, you've encountered. To the Lord of Phantasma, she said, watch this place from this garden here. They showed up solar power and started remaking the world according to their own whims. And the result is what we're stuck in right now. Well, what do you think? Wow. Bam! Feels like you just popped your head in and solved all this crazy mysteries like there were nothing. Da! It's certainly impressive. If not, I hadn't been able to deduce quite that much. You really are a genius, Renee. I'm sure you could have worked at this if you'd really put your mind to it, Joshua. This is still the studio is actually contagious and rubbed off on you. Well, that's not very nice. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not the case. Hmm. Deary me. Either way, it sounds like this Lord of Phantasma person likes games just as much as I do. Without me, I don't know if you'll be able to beat them, so I'd better lend you all a hand. I hope you're all very grateful. Uh, yeah, sure. It's nice to have a cutie like you on board, Renee. Well, not that that's settled. It's time to use that cube to take us back to the fifth plane so we can move on. We've gotten close to working out what's going on. We should be able to move on to the next part of the game board now. I'm guessing our point's ready to make our next move, too. Ah, someone's confident. Still, have it your way. It's not as though we have any option other than to press on. I'm expecting we'll encounter a devil at the end of this plane just so we have all, all the others. Move on when we're sure we can handle it do without the extra trouble. Then again, I am kind of curious what these devils are like in reality. Would you like to come and have a look with me, Tita? I'm not sure the two of us should be going. It would be such a good idea. Aw, oh, she was supposed to be with us earlier. But look at her now. Yes, Estelle, look at her now. How quickly she changed her mind. Or will. Perhaps you shouldn't be quite so trusting. Yeah, I'm really glad she came around. If she did, she can play you for suckers, don't forget. Hopefully we'll get a chance to talk to her while we're in here, too. Yeah. All right, well, let's swap out some people. Let's see, level 9, level 10. Because you never know. I'm going to need to do these things. Um, anyhow. Went way long. Sorry about that, everybody. Didn't want to ruin the flow of the scene. Thank you all for watching and putting up with my rants. Let me know what you think about Renee and her old, her old shtick. I'm curious to know what you think. Otherwise, I'll talk to everyone later.